Debugging and Maintenance Manual or Grid USB Data Converter Instruction Manual. Debugging Process Step 1 to Step 5 are the same as the method of debugging through the outdoor unit. The debugging from Step 6 is as follows. Firstly, click Connect to switch the debugging software to the debugging control interface. Click Debug to switch to the engineering debugging interface. Click Start to enter the debugging function and the software performs debugging automatically. Related icon is displayed to indicate that debugging passed or is still being performed. For the face with OK displayed, a manual confirmation is required for entering the next debugging step. Click this icon to display online unit quantity, which provides reference for selection. Click Close to close the information. Related icon is displayed to indicate that debugging is not passed on the face and troubleshooting is required. After troubleshooting, the unit enters the next step automatically if there is no OK exists. Otherwise, click OK to enter the next step. Click the related icon to display relevant information detected on this face, which provides reference for troubleshooting. During debugging, click Stop to stop debugging, and then click Start to continue debugging till debugging ends. Back and skip are provided in Step 10 Outdoor Unit Valves track before startup. When Step 10 is abnormal, click Back to return to Step 9. Click OK in Step 9 to perform debugging again for Step 10. If a U6 fault occurs in Step 10, users can click Skip to skip the fault. For other faults, Skip is unavailable. Debugging Steps 11, 13, and 14 are reserved. Step 12 is the debugging confirmation step. Steps 13, 14, 15, 16 are parallel steps. After completing debugging, the interface is shown as below. Green icon is displayed on project debugging completion step to indicate that project debugging is completed and the whole computer debugging steps are finished. Sort and save data. Make detailed records of abnormalities and troubleshooting methods during debugging for later maintenance and inquiry. At last, make a debugging report and hand it over to users. Engineering function setting. When debugging is completed, set the related functions of unit according to actual engineering function demand. For more details about the setting method, 